woke up this morning after having a dream about um, Amazon and as I was thinking about the dream, I, uh, I realized that Amazon has become a very big family for me. And uh, I'm so excited about Jessica coming to work for my family is. And I want, I want my whole family to meet her. I want them to know about her. I want them to, you know, welcome her and be nice to her and help her. Um, I can just imagine myself uh, <laughs> taking her and, and, and saying, here's, <laughs> here's, here's Rory. He's, he's my friend, and uh, he always asks me, you know, how's your granddaughter doing? How's your family doing? And, and I, you know, tell him about things that are going on, and, and then he always says, I'll pray for her. I'll pray for them. Um, and, uh, and then there's, there's um, the lady that, that hands us the... Uh, little machines that we um, use to go out and pick with so we know where we're picking and what we're picking and and um, we pick them up in the morning off this rack and um, turn them on and and set them up so that we can use them and then when we we come down, we're finished, we put them in this bin and, and this lady, this, you know, worker cleans them and, and I, would, I was thinking, you know, this is, this is, you know, the lady that, that cleans the machine that, you know, takes our prayers. Um, she's Muslim, this one lady, and, uh, you know, she wears the shroud and the, all the garb, you know. Um, but uh, she's the one that, that, that cleans so that our machine doesn't get us sick and that our prayers make it to God and God can talk back to us. <laughs> um, and I was thinking about, um, there's this uh, black hole that Looks like he wears a turban on his head. It's, it's just, you know, a headpiece that he wears on all the hair that he has. And I don't know if they're extensions or if there's his real hair, but they're all wrapped up and they are put on top of his head. And his name's Michael, and, and he, um, you know, always has a computer in front of him or he's carrying a computer or whatever, but he's always, you know, talking to us. and. And um, he knows me, you know, and I say hi to him, and I go by, and I can say, this is my granddaughter. Um, there's um, a family there from India, um, and uh, the main person that I know there is Shiv, a um, young, young man, but it's like his whole family works there. Um, and... Um, and I can say, you know, this is my granddaughter. And um, so one of the things that we always see when they, when they see me or when I see them, I say, Kem Chow, Kem Cho, Kem Cho, which means, how are you? And the response is, is Majama, which means I'm doing fine. But the way I remember Majama is Pajama. And so I can, you know, I, I was thinking this morning, you know, this is, this is uh, Shiv and this is uh, my granddaughter and she, uh, you know, so I told her that, that when she sees you, she can, and, and you say, come cho, you can say, I wear my pajamas, <laughs> pajama. <laughs> 
or Mojama. Um, and there's a fellow there that, that wears a, a white uh, golf cap. Um, he's an older fellow. He's black. And his name is Levon. And uh, I say, Jessica, this is Levon. Um, and he made sure that uh, the astronauts made it to um, help make sure that astronauts got to the moon safely. My grandfather's name is Levon, and this man's name is Levon. Um, uh, and um, there's a lady that works in HR, uh, McCall, who is, she plays the organ at, at church sometimes. Uh, but she also married a, a fellow in, in the ward um, whose last name is Shackleford. And I can say, you know, this is, this is McCall, and she likes to make music, and she helps to make places safe. And, and she married a man who made sure that the slaves got across the water safely. Um, that's how I look at the word Shackleford, is, is the person who, who forded the people that were in shackles across the river. Um, there's uh, several different people whose, whose names are Amy um, that work there. And, of course, Jessica has Rory and Amy, and and uh, but uh, and, and there's there's John. Um, I mean, he's he's a an older gentleman, not as old as I am, but he's you know he's he's there. He helps make sure that people are safe and making sure they do their job and whatever he's. Um, always, you know, on a computer doing stuff. Um, but he's very approachable and, and can talk. And then there's another older gentleman named Johnny who's who's more my age. Um, I mean, I can have any conversation with him and, and whatever I tell him, I, I know that whatever I say to him, I mean, you know, it's, it's safe. He's a safe man to talk to. He's a safe place to go. Um... Anyway, um, it just through my mind, you know, I just going through all these things, thinking about, you know, how wonderful it is that I have my granddaughter coming to work in my family, with my family. And so when I drove her to work this morning, I, um, I told her, I said, when I very first started working at Amazon, I, I had this dream. Um, that I moved into this huge building. It was, it was a big apartment. It was full of people, but none of the people could talk with each other. They were all, you know, from different countries. They were all from different, spoke different languages. They had different customs, and uh, they were just all separate. And uh, but after a little while, we started talking with each other, and and and. Um, we got to figure out how to speak with each other a little bit, and um, and then you know as time went on, um, we were able to speak to more people and include more people into each of, into our group, um, and and this was happening throughout this this whole big building, uh, this apartment that's full of these, all these people, and after a while, we all were able to to communicate with each other. And uh, it, it dawned on me that you know this is this is how this is what Amazon is. It's a, it's a great big apartment building, and all these people in it that come from different cultures and different you know places in the world and, and whatever. And we don't know each other, but as we as we work together, we learn about each other, and we all become friends, and and we all become family. And uh, and then I had this dream last night. And, uh, and I told Jessica, you know, that, you know, I'm just ex so excited about her coming and being there with us. And I can introduce her to all these people and, and, and how I see them. And, and it, just, um, it just made me feel really, really good about, um, about her coming to work there. But I just wanted to 
record this and share it with you. So thank you.